scraping data from this kind of website where you have to click on the text to find out the find out your exact uh, text for example if you click on the click agent you see the phone number is revealed and also if you click on the email then you see another pop-up window is coming actually uh, the email address is not find out here but if you click on the link and if you right click on the link and you see email address copy email address that means email address already exists here but it is not easily find out so all the process i will discuss in this video tutorial that you can use for your web scrapping project hey everyone this is amin and welcome to my youtube channel amin services in this youtube channel now i will share another web scrapping tutorial before starting the tutorial i am requesting you if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video to your facebook twitter linkedin whatsapp and other social media so other people can also learn from this video and after watching this video if you have any question about web scrapping data scrapping or if you need my service at a cheap rate you can contact me all my contact details you will find on the video description below also on my youtube channel cover page so friends let's start the tutorial to scrap data from uh, from a directory site for example i will scrap this website for example propertyfinder.ae it is actually one of my client's website a few days ago he gave me to scrap this data okay and now i will show you how uh, how can i scrap data from this website it is little tough to to scrap the data from this kind of website but i will cover everything here i will use the uh, i will use the uh, a google chrome free web scraper tool that you already know so i will use the web scraper extension and you will find the extension on my video description below i will give the website i will give the link of that extension on my video description so can you can easily access it and i have successfully installed this web scraper extension on my google chrome browser if you still not install this scraper on your browser please just install it it is super easy so after installing the extension on your google chrome browser then just go to this website propertyfinder.ie slash and find as and it is the page one so here you see that uh, each page normally contains 20 result here you see you'll find 20 result here and you see there are a lot of other page here and there is the next button also appeared here and here you see that we have found total 4644 matching agent so we will uh, scrap all of the person's data now if you click this data in another tab we will also scrap his name title uh, location and the language the most important thing that we will scrap is the phone number and the email address from that page also the company name and their profile link so all the system all the data i will scrap in this video and all that all that process i will show step by step okay so first of all we have to click on the either right click on your mouse just click on here inspect element or you can click the ctrl shift i from your keyboard then you will find the developer tools of the chrome uh, okay google chrome browser then just click on here web scraper you have to click on the create a new sitemap okay create sitemap after that sitemap name you have to write the name of sitemap so i just want to write this one property finder okay this one is the property finder property finder i just write it property finder and this will be our starting url okay starting url after that click on create sitemap now our sitemap is successfully created then just click on here add new selector 
now we have to select the link of that uh, page okay so i'm i'm just creating the uh, i just i am just collecting all the link of that person here for example if i click on new tab you see here this is the link so we need this link to visit this space okay and i just i just write here the okay just um, profile link okay i just write it here profile link uh, underscore here profile link and this will be must the link okay click link then click on here select and from that section okay just click on here okay this one and also click on the this one when you click on this two the rest of the man or person's profile will be automatically uh, selected here okay see all are selected here that means 20 data has been selected and you see here as it is the multiple person we have selected here I, I just click on here choose multiple okay then click on here done selecting so we have selected all the link from that pages okay now the another thing we just want to create here or oh, just click on here save selector so we have first created one uh, selector for all of the link here now i want to create the selector for all of the link here for that again i am clicking add a new selector and here i just want to click on the pages link or uh, okay pages link underscore pages link so i want to get all of the pages link here pages link and it will be also the link okay then click on here select then click on here either next page or all of the page here okay i just want to click on here this one or directly click on their next page okay i just click on next page here also click on here okay all of the page i have selected here okay i have multiple i also click on the multiple here okay multiple so after done selecting then click on here save selector okay you can also check out the element preview that means what you have uh, selected on here just click on here element preview you see these are the element we have selected and you, you see here we have selected successfully 20 elements so these are thing just click on again here to uncheck this again we can see the data preview that means what we we will get in this video so these are the link we need here okay these are the link okay just click on here close so these are the all thing we have successfully uh, selected in the first page okay now what you have to do we will visit this link now directly click on the name of that person to visit his profile link okay i just want to listen now we have uh, now we have entered the individual profile information of that person and also we will click on the profile link here then click on here add a new selector and here will be the name of that person id name name and it will be must text and then click on here select and this will be the name here okay just name done selecting and this one will be okay save selector so we have got the name of the person then the click on here again the add new selector this will be the titles of that person so, okay titles it will also be the text click on the selector select then we have to select the titles here then click on here done selecting then click on here save selector so we have successfully get the titles of that person this way we will uh, this way you can select the nationality and also the language it is just similar system now i want to show the this system call agent and the email agent which is the the difficult part of that video click on here add new selector okay then click on here i just want to get the phone for that person phone and it will be here the again the link okay link then you click on here link then you will see that okay select and we click on here okay and when you click on here you see here that it is just uh, it is just selected now done selecting okay you can see the data preview what we have got so here you see that call agent data and this is the asr left all get here okay this one okay we have get the our important data here then click on here 
the save selector okay now the same system will follow here add new selector for the email address of that person okay email address and it will also be link okay just link then click on here okay select and then click on the either on name okay then click on the done selecting then click on the save selector before that also make sure to check what we will get from that and for that click on here data preview and you see here we found the data here okay email href so we'll email and email href is the our this person email address okay then click close it here and then click save selector this way we have successfully get the phone and email address also and then you can get the uh, company name and the website the same way click on here and the business name okay business name this will be the business name and text it will be the text here then click on here select this will be the business name okay done selecting save selector the same way we will follow for the uh, website link here then it will be the company link here okay i just want to get the company link it is a company link and it will be the link again okay then select and you have to choose the view profile option here then click done selecting okay the same system click on data preview to make sure it okay this one okay then click on here save selector so we have successfully selected all of the important data from that individual page if you wish you can get all of the thing here no problem but i don't want to make the video so lengthy that's the one i i hope it is just enough for now okay this one is okay then click on here all are successfully selected and uh, we now want to go back here for that just click on here on that sitemap okay then click on selector okay okay this click on here uh, okay selector and you see root okay root now you see that we just need a little change okay because we want to get uh, all of the data from that page okay to get all of the data we have uh, selected here just click on here okay this one profile link then click on here edit when you click on edit you will see the parent selector now we have to link the main or uh, main selectors and also the pagination selector okay for that just click on here page link this so click on from click on control button from your keyboard okay then select this one page link now click on save selector now here you will see the parent selector that means the root okay this one is the root i will show everything in the graph file so this one is the root and this one is the pagination this one is the pagination so after scrapping all of the data from the first page it will go to the pagination and this is the linked we have made here on the parent selector okay so all the thing are successfully done now here click on here the sitemap profile finder then click on the selector graph and now we will show what will happen click on root and you see two data is uh, we found here two links here a profile link and you all the data on the profile link and a page link and you see that the profile link and on the profile link the same system the same data so it will be continuous process okay now i just want to click on the again here and click on the scrap okay here is the uh, data interval you can raise it or you can decrease it no problem i just want to make in default click on here start scraping okay i just start scraping and here you will see the update okay so it is just started to scrap here so first profile pages already scrapped and it is now scrapping the individual data from the individual pages here so i just want to uh, small it here and want to show the progress so uh, you see in the in in that page no data scrapped here but if you click on here refresh button and here you see the data is starting to scrap here so it is really a very good extension to scrap data freely from this kind of website not only i will show my in my next video yellow pages uh, and the yelp pages all of the directories that i will show in my next video 
and if you have any other website that you want to scrap using this free extension you can comment on my video okay so if you if you write your desired website then i can create more videos so i just again click on here refresh data and data is scrapped here now if you just stop this one the data scrapping will be stopped but here you see that pages is automatically scrapping here now i just uh, stop this one to stop this one and to stop this scrapper okay just click on here uh, okay i just close it here that means this data will be stopped scrapping now again click on the refresh data and go to click on here sitemap profile defender and click on here export data you will find two options to scrap data xls or csv i just want to show the um, csv file and data is okay just open it here open and data this csv file is opening here and now i want to show what data we have scrapped from that web page okay just click on here then click on okay and then i just want to uh, okay bold it here and here you see that this is the data we found here profile link okay this is the main profile link we found and this is the page page link here okay and this is the name we these are titles and this is the phone number and the telephone number you found now you can either keep this one or either you can keep this one so okay just click uh, i just want to delete this one okay now what you have to do just choose all of the thing here call agent then click on ctrl c copy this one you can remove all of the data here as i am a professional web scraper i use lot of paid tools also i use uh, extension co tools for excel it is a super awesome tools you can easily do any of the excel uh, task within a few seconds that will take more and more time for if you don't know but i am using this co tools for excel uh, for my any kind of excel task okay so you can use this on co tools for excel and for example then click on here okay add text then click on here remove okay remove uh, text over remove position this one but for this i want to click on here control h i want to show you the free method okay call agent then click on here replace all and you see all data is replaced here now you see the phone number is not looking perfect for that just click on here home button then click on here okay number button then you see another problem a uh, point zero zero is automatically added here now this one is the click this one this okay this two now it is looking so perfect the same system is happening here i just want to remove this one and the same system the mail to option is automatically added here okay again the same system okay click ctrl h find and replace and then click on here mail to okay nothing click on here replace all and all data is replaced here so our report is now perfectly okay we can now just give that report to our clients so friends this is the total process i just wanted to explain in this video if you think this video is something helpful to you please subscribe to my youtube channel share this video and if you have any question about web scrapping web scrapper data scrapping please comment on my video and if you need help you can also contact me or if you have this kind of projects please contact me thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye